Hi, this is Paul again. Now I'd like to introduce you to part 10 of Cubic Wonder. In my last video, I showed how dodecas can be stacked to make bends in nine different ways. So what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to show how the DNA swirls can accomplish this task. I show a purple ring around the three vertices on the top of the dodeca. And I also show a red ring and a vector that is red and gold. The gold is to indicate that it's a golden ratio vector. The red is to indicate the color of the phase because we're going to go multi-phase on this demo. These three vectors are placed 120 degrees apart around this ring. I show the angle of this bend at 138.184 degrees. Now I'm going to show you a type A DNA, picking up the vertices of the dodeca and taking it around the bend. Okay, the focus is not on the swirls going around the bend this time. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to chop the swirl in half and turn the opacity down so that the vector is more clear. Okay, what I'm going to do is reorientate this red helix system setup. I'm going to cut the dodeca on the bottom in half and show two halves so that it illustrates what's happening better. Okay, now we can make a start. We'll call this A red because it's A type DNA. And this vector starts off in position one. Okay, to go to the next position with this A type DNA, we have to rotate 120 clockwise and go up two dodeca rings. So let's give it a try. And look, now we're in position two. No, it's not, I'm lying. It should be position four. A little bit later, you're gonna see the sense. Okay, let's do the same again and we'll go to the next position. The next position will be position seven. Okay, so that's three done out of nine. So let's drop back down again and let's go to the green swirl. Okay, now we're looking at the green swirl. The angle between the red swirl and the green swirl is 60 degrees exact. And notice we've just added a blue dodeca. The green vector and later you find the blue vector uses this extra dodeca. This only applies in the A type DNA. The other two types of DNA only uses one dodeca. Okay, so these green swirls are now going to give us diagonal vectors. And the bend angle is 109.481. This swirl will start at 2. And then she'll go on to 5. And then she's going to go on to 8. And then we'll go back down again to start. The three green vectors are coming off the cube, but that cube could be orientated in different positions. It can go five different ways in the dodeca. So the golden ratio is only the golden ratio compared with that cube. So now we'll bring in the blue swirl. Okay, the blue swirl has come in and the angle between the green and the blue is 75.4 degrees this time. And look, if we take this angle away, the two swirls match up perfectly together. And as you can see, the bend angle for the both of them is 109.481. Okay, finally, we can focus on the blue swirl. This A-type DNA swirl will start as three, and then she'll move on to six, and then she's gonna move on to nine. Okay, hopefully I've shown clear that three phases of DNA can go nine different ways. I found that this A type DNA is the most interesting one because it's got 60 and a 75.4 angle. Now notice how these angles pick up every vertex going through the 360 degree cycle. I think you have to admit that this is definitely a demonstration of the perfection of sacred geometry. I think I'd be the last person to associate junk DNA and chaos and disorder to this perfect order in DNA geometry. Okay, now let's take a look at the B-type DNA. Okay, we'll start again with the one 
and then when we rotate 120 and rise up we've only got to go one dodeca so we only lift up 173.204 okay we're at the four so we'll take it up now to the seven and then we'll come back down again okay to bring in the green swirl on this one is a little bit different it's not 60 degrees it's 120 and the blue is going to be 120 also so as it goes from red to green and blue i've numbered the vectors in sequence this view isn't that clear so i've made a top view also so that it looks a bit better okay now for the green swirl this one should start off at two then she should go to five and then she should go to eight and then come back down again and next we'll bring the b blue dna swirl and this one should go from three to six to nine and then back down again so this looks after the b type dna okay now we're down to the z dna the z is very similar to the b dna because the green swirl and the blue swirl each lag 120 degrees in the same direction as the a and the b dna the a and the b dna have a right hand thread and the z dna has a left hand thread and i'm also giving you a top view so that you can see things better okay so let's go to z red and because it's a left hand thread we're gonna have to start at seven and then we'll go to four and then we'll go to one and then we'll drop down again and then we'll go to green and start at eight and then we'll go to five and then we'll go to two and then we'll drop down again and then we'll go to z blue and start at nine and then to six and then to three and then drop down again okay so i've given you something new to think about so this is paul saying thank you very much for watching my video